no not working i can't make it work there's a, something a little off of off with it i don't know okay that's way too light Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you know my channel, I'm Akanksha. So in this video, you've read the title already. We are going to test out mask cosmetics. Now I've been hearing about mask cosmetics for a while now, uh, but I've never got to try any of their products. So this is the first time I like try their, um, you know, anything. Like I've not even tried like as basic as lipstick as well. So I have a bunch of products from them. So this is actually PR I got from them for, like a month ago, and I've been meaning to put this to a test because I've never tried the brand like I told you. So I'm pretty excited. to see how it is and it is an affordable brand so i really want them to work because uh, you can never have enough affordable makeup if it's good and affordable it's like the best thing so yeah without further ado let's get uh, started i have some base products also i think so let's go So first up I have a brush set from them which is called the Mars Artist Arsenal brush set um so it has six different brushes it has a foundation blush brush powder brush everything I think I can manage to do like a full face uh, of like makeup with these brushes so I'm going to use those only for today but we need a product for like you know to use the brushes with so they even sent me this Mars BB cream so this is their Mars BB cream skin perfection color correcting and stuff so I'm not really sure of the shade it says tan and i'm hoping like it is a close match for me because obviously i do not pick my shade and whenever people send like um foundation and concealers in pr they are usually not right they either i get too dark on me or they either too light on me so fingers crossed that this works because other than this i don't have like uh, you know concealer also to like use for uh, the base so this retails just for 249 rupees so let's see how this works really hope This is my shade. I think I think this is going to work. So now this is a BB cream. That's the reason I apply like so much of it because you know it doesn't give like a lot of coverage. Uh, so I'm going in with the F zero two brush. Okay, one moment. This brush has hair strands on it. I want to like quickly spread it with my finger and see. So the product is kind of sticky like when I'm blending it out I can feel the tackiness on it but like it is you know blending pretty easily looks nice I mean of course it's BB cream does it so it does not have like a lot of coverage you can see I have my blemishes like peeking uh, through but again I don't blame it's a BB cream it's just supposed to be like a um, you know a tint kind of thing but for what it is which is a bb cream it's doing a pretty great job at kind of like evening everything um out it's kind of giving me that like slight glow to my face which i actually really like as well like can you see that it's just like it's a perfect one it's not too greasy not too like uh, you know oily but i just want to add a little bit more right here and see if i do add like another layer if it like you know kind of get messed up Actually you know what like if i just pat it and add like a second layer a lot of things did get covered which is great I really like this brush as well. It's nice, dense, thick and flat. So like it's a great kabuki brush for like foundation. Like it just like is doing such a good job on my skin. It does not feel rough as well. So so far like I love what it's doing and of course it's not covering my blemishes but that's not what a BB cream is for. If you want that to get covered then you can add in a concealer then add a BB cream so that you know only spots are covered and the rest is like lightweight. So I'm just going to go in with my uh, Too Faced concealer. I'm just going to add it in like my blemish spots like bigger blemishes like the smaller ones are fine but these bigger ones i want to like cover it up so it has more brushes right and one it says it's like a e1 is like a multi purpose brush so i just want to try blending my concealer using that i use because i love using these tiny brushes to like spot conceal i think they do a very good job in like concentrating the product only where it's needed and like just blending out the edges you can see right i mean the shade is a little um obviously this concealer is a little lighter the compared to the bb cream shade the bb cream is a little darker on me but i think i can manage it it does not look very dark full coverage foundation and that shade then it kind of like you know make me look too dark but because the bb cream i can um, i don't mind so far this is it i'm just going to go back in with that 
brush and kind of just tap on that so that everything is kind of smoothened out and you can't see like the concealer spots exactly not taking anything extra just like dabbing dabbing okay that's the base cute next for concealer i have this concealer palette this entire paper the packaging is like stuck on the product look at that i really like that it has like so many different shades it also has color correctors on top which is uh, amazing i just hope the formula is as great like it doesn't crease or it looks like really nice then we'll have like a killer palette so i'm going in back with the concealer brush i'm just going to like clean whatever is there on that with my on my hand i'm going to mix like these two shades i think these uh this and this will kind of give me like my perfect shade so i'm just going to go ahead and like okay that's way too light this one is more like my shade the one in the center looks nice this is great this was like too light okay so it's getting blended quite easily i'm not really sure about the finish though yet i have to like you know wait for it to kind of settle down and um see but so far like it's not really bad but it's not like like amazing right off the back use the bigger brush and like kind of blend it off you know what like after i blend with this brush it looks a lot nicer uh, yeah it, application matters a lot for products as well like i think now i like the finish like i just applied i think way too much uh product and now that i use this brush to kind of blend it out it evened out everything and uh, the finish is like much better now so okay so i don't have any powder from mask cosmetics so i'm going to use the powder when, which i generally use even if i had that pro uh, powder i don't think i would have used it now because i like to test these products like the foundation and concealer are new right so i want to test how they are and like if i use like a new powder also i will not be able to tell so i'm just going in with my laura mercier uh, powder i've been using this for years and years for powder i'm going in with this mask cosmetics powder and this is in the number f03 like i think so far the brushes are great dude like i love the foundation brush even this powder one like i really like it it it, it is very similar to this uh, brush which i absolutely love and use from uh, real techniques next i have this big ass brush in the shade in the number f01 this they're calling their blush brush but i like using these big fat ones for like bronzing specially so i'm going to use that as a bronzer soft like look at that like i love it like i love these angled ones for like bronzer blush especially because um, the shape of the face it kind of just like sits right in compared to like flat brushes see how pretty i mean i'm loving the brushes do like real good i'm going to use the same brush uh, for blush as well and i have this uh mars cosmetics flush of love uh, blush now it's going to be a little tricky to use this one because um i have eyeshadow from them and lipstick also but the lipstick i have from them is like very like rustic orange kind of shade and this blush is very like pinkish cleaning that brush off going in again with the blush nice and rosy a little too pink uh, but now i don't know what to do probably i should have to like you know use some other lipstick there's a, something a little off of off with it i don't know maybe like if i put together the whole look it'll be different but like for some reason i feel like it's a little bluish grayish tint to it okay so for eye shadow i have this mars like colorful eye shadow now looking at this eye shadow i feel like i don't know why i tried this eye shadow sometime before i'm not really sure though it has like too many bright colors and today i was like i don't want to do something really colorful but then there's so many colors they're like screaming my name and i'm like hmm now what to do so like it has like mattes it has shimmers it has like in between matte and shimmers as uh, well like i love this area which is like the darker section because i can do so much more with it but this one is like too bright um now i need to sit and decide what exactly do i want to do okay i'm going in with the mars e2 brush e02 i'm going to pick this shade up i'm going to add that as my transition shade wow then i have this e03 brush which is kind of like a flat brush but it's pretty fluffy bro this palette is pigmented
I have a kajal from them too. Let's try it out. Like, why not? Oh, it's a gold color kajal. Look at that. I don't know if it'll make any difference though because... Yeah, I think it makes like a little difference. It kind of added that shine. But I don't like... I mean, I don't... I used to like add like a lot of nude liners in my uh, waterline. I used to be like white liner kind of person as well. But I... Like, I just kind of got over it also because it kind of fades off so quickly. No matter how good of a pencil it is, these lighter shades just like tend to like disappear so quickly. But I mean, I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's just like suiting this look specially. You know what? I can probably add this right here. Yep. No, not working. I can't make it work. Ara, I am so picky. Oh my God, look at that. I'm so picky of my mascaras. Let's see how this one goes. I mean, the wand is so big, like, I mean, that's what she said, but. I mean, not bad, but it's like, not the best mascara I've used, but it's pretty decent. Okay, this is how my lashes look. I mean, I think it's pretty uh, decent. I'll have to see like how it will wear though. Now, finally, we have lips left and I just realized I actually have a lot more lip options than I thought I do because I have this uh, bundle of lipsticks that they send and hopefully one of them kind of matches. So I have three shades with me. These are called the uh, Mass three matte box uh, lipstick they retail for rupees 447 which i feel like comes down to like 150 rupees per lipstick which is great first i have the shade 10 11 that is shade number 12 now don't mind my swatches i think i'm going to go ahead and use 11 because i feel like that will be more appropriate beautiful i love this shade and i love the smell of it as well the only thing lo which looks very off is my uh, blush because i told you i already had that pink and like rusty thing going on so yeah guys this is the finished look now i do want to see how long all these products last so i'm going to do a check-in in a couple of hours it is 2 30 now and i'm going to wear this as long as possible and let's see how it was i especially want to test the longevity of the concealer and the mascara all right 8 40 almost 9 o'clock and this is how my makeup looks after like six hours i think it looks pretty decent except for the lipstick because i ate a lot and it kind of like you know disappeared okay first of all let's talk about the tools i used to do this makeup look because oh my god it's just 1099 and you get six brushes for it and these brushes are stunning you guys like not stunning just for the price point like okay for 200 rupees this is great not like that these are great for any price point and they absolutely work really well i love this does not even look cheap because of the gold packaging it's really good quality the bristles are nice the bristles are nice and soft and steady i love every single uh, brush i think they did like a fab fab job i would love to try more brushes if they have like an eyeshadow and stuff these are stunning i love the foundation one the powder one the blush one i think this is if you're a beginner and you're looking for good brushes then definitely this is a great deal you can definitely try this brush set and you will not reg regret it so for the makeup part we're starting off with the bb cream you can see my base looks still really good now again it is not a full coverage kind of thing that's not what a bb cream is supposed to do it's just supposed to like you know uh blur out your skin and i think it's doing a very good job for it i think the shade is pretty much a good match for me as well and i think it's doing a great job overall bb cream just make your life easy uh, especially if you're somebody who goes to office college and you want to something to just like blur out your skin very instantly don't want to do a lot of effort all you have to do is like pour it in your hands and just like you know apply it like you would apply a moisturizer and it'll do so good to you i used to use a bb cream so much while i was in college i don't now anymore again if you have a lot of blemishes then conceal the blemishes first and then you can use this one and you can like you know have this nice lightweight base but everything getting like you know properly covered as well i'm getting a little oily but i think that's normal it's been six hours and i have oily skin so that's pretty normal uh for me so now 
नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू द कंसीलर पैलेट आई लव द कलर्स गिवन इन दिस वन आई लव दर्सटाइल द शेड्स आर दैट दे हैव कलर करेक्टिंग शेड्स इज वेल एंड दैट इट इज जस्ट रुपीज थ्री हंड्रेड राइट या थ्री नाइन नाइन एंड लाइक इफ आई लुक अप क्लोज आई लाइक द कंसीलर डज लुक प्रिटी गुड द ओनली ओनली प्रॉब्लम आई हैव विथ इट इज दैट इफ यू कैन सी राइट हेयर आई हैव अ लाइट लिटिल बिट ऑफ ड्राइनेस गोइंग ऑन सो इट जस्ट क्लिंग ऑन टू दैट अ रियली टाइनी बेड बट इफ आई यूज लाइक आई क्रीम और लाइक यू नो गुड हाइड्रेटिंग प्राइमर दैट इश्यू माइट गो एज वेल बट ओवरऑल लाइक वेन आई लुक एट क्रीसिंग एंड स्टफ ऑल्सो इट डो नॉट क्रीज दैट बैली इट्स प्रिटी डिसेंट आई मीन फॉर दिस प्राइस पॉइंट देर आर लाइक रियली लेस गुड कंसीलर्स एंड इट्स नॉट लाइक जस्ट कंसीलर आई आई वुड डेफिनेटली सजेस्ट यू इफ यू कैन गो फॉर दिस वन इफ यूर बिगिनर स्पेशली बिकॉज यू डोट हैव टू इन्वेस्ट इन्वेस्ट इन लाइक वेरियस डिफरेंट थिंग्स यू कैन लाइक यू नो यूज दिस एज अ कंसीलर वन लाइक अ नॉर्मल कंसीलर टू हाईलाइट एंड टू कॉन्टोर एज वेल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन यूज दिस एज लाइक ब्लश टू दीज टू शेड्स सो इट्स कैन अ वेरी वर्सटाइल एंड इट ब्लेंड ब्यूटिफुल इट्स प्रिटी लाइट वेट एज well the only the dry thing i need to like try once more and see and other than that i think i don't have i don't have like any complaints my under eye looks quite nice one thing yes is more like don't apply a lot of it like initially when i applied with the brush when i applied a lot i feel i felt like it was sitting on top of the skin but once i blended it out and it looked even then it was looking nice so like less is more kind of thing for this product as uh, well but yeah like my under eye looks pretty great and i would uh, consider this a hit as well next i have blush now blush Blush is the one thing I'm like so so about. Though the color is very pretty, it looks really nice. It's nice and matte. For some reason, I feel like it is that color or something about the blush is just like not working uh, for me. Maybe like it's been so long that I start. I I used like a pink blush. I've just not been using pink blushes. Um, I think it's the tone of the blush. You know, see, it's not like pink. It's like a little lilac and kind of stuff. Maybe it's just not going with the look or whatsoever. The formula in itself, I think, is great. It blended beautifully. It's co nice and pigmented. It is mad. I just want to try more shades. Maybe this shade is not for me, so I'm not liking the blush as much as I want to. Next, I have this eyeshadow palette. Details for three, four, nine, and I think the all the three, four shades I've used are like beautiful. You saw when I was applying only the pigmentation is insane, and it kind of blended off very easily. I do not have to like work or put in a lot of effort to blend at all. I don't know if it is the brush or the eyeshadow, but whatever it was, like it just blended in very beautifully, and you can see the color is still there. The blue kind of faded. Away, but then you know it is a bright color and it is a shimmer. So I think it's pretty good for what it is, and I did not like apply a lot of it as well. It was little bit, and it did a great job. So I just left it as it. I did not pat down a lot. So overall, I think this is a great palette. I did swatch a couple of other shades as well, and they look pretty promising too. So I want to try this on the eye also, like the bright colors. But on my hand also, the swatches and all are great. And whatever I tried on my eyes, like. It did a pretty good job as well. The mask mascara. Now, um, it's a great mascara, but it's not as best as like my go-to mascaras. It's a pretty decent one. It reminds me a lot of of like the Maybelline Colossal one. It gives me the exact same vibes. I I think I can make a dupe video out of this. Good idea, Akansha. But yeah, it's a very proper dupe for uh, the L'Oreal. Uh, co sorry, Maybelline Colossal one. It just gives me the same exact volume and length. So it is a very great one. But like my favorite one is the Benefit one, which is again a, a vast price difference. But if I have that, I would use that over this. But if I just have this i would definitely happily use that big thumbs up from me and i'm so excited to try more products from this brand like because like every single thing i've used is like really good so i would actually try more eye shadows and lipsticks and oh my lipstick by the way we did um, you know talk up like use lipsticks as well i think mean, lipsticks are like basic i don't like to judge lipsticks a lot because most of them uh, work very well i think lipsticks are the easiest like thing to do or like you know impress me by so i love the shade 11 which is let me just apply it and see i love the undertone it has sorry it was 12 the one i used was 12 sorry i used 11 my bad so yeah guys that's about it for this video i hope it is useful i hope you found something you like or you were looking for my opinion on some of the products and it is useful i just hope it was useful in some way i'm really excited to try more products from this brand and let me know if you want me to like any specific thing you have in mind that you want me to try i would love to do, do that for you guys this video shout out goes to samyukta sami thank you samyukta for always loving and supporting it absolutely means the world to me if you want to be part of next video shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag aks and you can be a part and yeah that's about it for this video i'll see you guys in my next one make sure like share and subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell see you in my next video bye